Moving on from, uh, from our, uh, our Mayor, I'd like to introduce Ms Zoe Spark, who's a going to, uh, who is currently one of the Vice Captains at the Ballinger High, Valley High School, uh, Ballinger High School, correction, and uh, she is a, uh, a student in Year 12. She is studying, uh, or wishes to study, um, up at New England University when she completes her gap year of Rural Science, and I think she's an impressive young individual, and uh, we're in good hands with these uh, with these people coming on. Thank you. Good afternoon, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the 122nd Bellinger River Agricultural Show. Um, I would like to acknowledge the Gumbangia people, who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay respect to elders both past and present of the Gumbanga Nation and extend that respect to other Aboriginal people present. Today I would like to welcome Bellinger Shire Mayor, Councillor Mark Troy, um, Show President Mr Rick Maunder, representing the Gumbanga people, Uncle Tom Kelly, Member for Oxley and Deputy Premier Andrew Stoner, uh, Member for for Coffs Harbour, Mr Andrew Fraser, Federal Member for Cowper, Mr Luck, Luke Hart Zucker, um, Councillor Mr Gordon Braithway, Patrons and Sponsors of the Show, and finally Barbara Weaver, who performed a beautiful national anthem for us today. I am very proud to have been invited to join Gordon and the official party to open the 2012 Bellingen Show. I first came to Bellingen Show to watch my older brother parade cattle for Bellingen High School and then, following in his footsteps, I have spent the last four years showing various breeds of beef cattle for the school. There is nothing quite like the atmosphere, the fabulous exhibits, the people and the smells. For me, the show means it's time to polish the brass buckles, the boots, iron my best shirt, wash and clip the cattle, help some of the younger students with handling the way with cattle, and of course, eat fairy cloth. But for others, it's a time to show off their prized pumpkins, their scrumptious scones, to exhibit their best produce, their livestock, or demonstrate their writing skills, their music or artistic talents. And for some, it is simply a time to socialize with the exhibitors and their neighbors to share stories, ideas, and information. Or it may just be the only time that you get to ride the shockwave with your best friend. But most importantly, the show is a celebration for the whole community working together to demonstrate and showcase the talents of our town and region. I hope that you continue to enjoy your time here this weekend, and thank you for supporting the agricultural show. Thank you very much, Zoe. I'd like to ask uh, a man who is um, known to many of us to formally open the show with Zoe for 2012. Um, Gordon Braithwaite, as many of us know, has been a councillor, a long-serving councillor on the Ballington Shire Council for 32 years. He's been 14 and a half years as uh, Shire President and the Mayor, and he's the longest-serving councillor since the creation of the Ballington Shire in 1906. I've read a list of, um, of Gordon's uh, achievements in civil service and civic service and boards, committees and community organisations and they are too numerous to read out in this, on this forum but suffice to say that he has done sterling work in various boards and committees and has been a long-standing member or was a long-standing member of the Ballinger Hospital, uh, District River Hospital for many years. In uh, recognition of his achievements, he was awarded the OAM in the Australia's Day Honours List in 1993, service to the local community and to local government. I now invite Gordon and Zoe to open the 2012 show. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the Gumbanga people as the original owners of this land and respect to the elders past and present. Mayor Mark Troy 
show President Rick Munda and your executive, Uncle Tom representing the Gambanga people. Tom and I have sort of grown together, so we've been friends all of our life. Member for Oxley and Deputy Premier Andrew Stoner. Member for Coffs Harbour, better known as Fighting Andrew Fraser. The federal member for Calper, who seems to get into a lot of trouble in the federal parliament, Luke Hardsaker, only because they're st sticking up for the area that they represent. Zoe Sparks, who is uh, vice captain of the Bellinger High School and co-opener of the show today. Patrons of the show and the sponsors, and I must mention the singer of the Australian National Anthem, Barbara Weaver, who sings beautifully. Ladies and gentlemen, young ladies and gentlemen, I, I thank you, Rick, and your executive uh, committee for uh, inviting Chloe and I to, uh, Zoe and I. I have a granddaughter called Chloe, and she's wonderful also. Uh, the 122nd Bellinger show, and it is indeed a great privilege for me to be part of this occasion. My compliments to the previous uh, speaker, and to Zoe in particular for her contribution, and my appreciation to the committee, the judges, the stewards, the exhibitors, for the hard work and dedication in making this show such a success. This reflects credit on all of those responsible. Many of those people have been assisting with the shows for a great number of years and are still doing so. I thank you to Zoe Sparks for uh, our, the commentary early on. Thanks, Zoe, you did it well. And uh, Representatives Andrew Stoner, Andrew Fraser and Luke for making time to be with us today on your bus very busy uh, schedule. We're aware that you always have the interests of the electorate in mind, but don't forget us when you're handing out grants towards community events. <laughs> the Bellington Show is a district event of the highest standard achieved by the hard-working committee, stewards and competitors, and offers pastoral and agricultural interests to be placed on display for all to see and appreciate it. Along with the ring events, the wood chopping, the pet events with livestock, flowers, plants of all kinds, the poultry bird, and just about everything that you'd see on the farm, plus a bit more. Congratulations to the winners of various sections and thanks to all participants and competitors who put so much time and effort into preparing for the show. As can be seen, the high and wide variety of exhibits in the pavilion and throughout the grounds doesn't happen it takes a lot of preparation. History shows that the first show was held at Fairmount. One claim is 1881 and another is 1883, but whatever, the 100th show was in 1988. In 1906, the flood stops some attendees to the Belgian show from returning home as Myers Crossing that was the crossing before the low-level bridge at Thora. Uh, it was flooded. The low level was promised and it happened, and then the high-level bridge was placed there in 1966. Now, that was also the date, 1906, when the Bellinger Shire was first formed. It once took in Barrowville and went to the top of the hill past the windmill at Coffs Harbour, which took in Sortell as well. I'm told that on one occasion at least the show was held where Connell Park is now and the building known as the Yellow Shed was used as the pavilion. Of course it was down on ground level and dirt floor at the time but it was used as the pavilion for that show. Um, the farm of course was McNally's farm at that stage. I recall when many exhibitors drove their stock to the show as there were very few trucks in those times. Monty McBaron at Raleigh with his red cattle, the Connells with the Jersey cattle, cattle from Dorigo, Ebor, Maxwell, Kempsey, and in between, horses of all sorts from near and far. 
with a very large procession in the show ring. Horses, dairy and beef, cattle, goats, that's the four-legged variety, um, <laughs> machinery and more. They were trotting horse races. I remember my father used to love the trotting horse races. Their boxing tent were locals and ring-ins as locals. Uh, they actually worked for the company. Um, they showed their talents and these were popular events. There was a lengthy process of the coddles mowing the show grounds before each show with the horse-drawn equipment and this was good to see. Murray Connell also mowed the old uh, Bellingen Public School ground that's uh, with the horse-drawn mower and that's the site of the Bellingen Council Chambers. Uh, some would say he should still be mowing there. So many people have worked so hard to bring the show to a public each year. Too many to mention and still happening with all the work and worry. So much could be said about this and past shows and the people have organised and worked so hard for their success. Past and present uh, presidents, committee, judges, steward, exhibitors and helpers, this reflects credit on all those responsible for each one of those 122 shows. I sincerely hope that you've had a great time and will continue to do so at the completion of your day and have a safe journey home. President Rick and your executive, special guests, ladies and gentlemen, young ladies and gentlemen, Zoe and I have much pleasure in declaring the 2012 and the 122nd Bellinger River Agricultural Show open. <laughs>